What's up guys, welcome to the week 3 mega pack for Senran Kagura Estival vs DLC now. Sadly, partially surprisingly, this pack has very little in terms of costume stuff. Um, it has only the one costume set, but it has two characters, whom you may see is kind of previewed in the background. But first off, let's go through, it does come with costume set 3, so let's take a look once more with the best girl, Hamura. So, the first one that we get as we scroll through this ever-growing list of outfits is the Cheong Sam, which is the... the uh, number 2 is gonna be blue, it's gotta be. Yeah, there we go, the Chun-Li. It's the, it's the, the China dress, as some people call it. I like the green, the Jade Dragon, very good. Um, all of course, you gotta get, man, this game has a thing for black, red, and gold, and it's like, it knows that's exactly what I like. Then we got like an icier sort of one, but it's like, it's the, the stereotypical Chinese style dress, um, which is nice, has some very good shoes. Those are quite classy, and it's, it's, but of course they have to have the, the entirely open chest because it's, it is Senran Kagura. You can't not have that. Uh, but after that we have the, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a ninja game without a Kunoichi outfit, which is just a female ninja outfit, and you know what? This could be a character's default outfit, and you wouldn't be able to tell me otherwise. So we got black as, you know, a ninja would wear. Red, as red and green, so, you know, Christmas ninja. We got this great color scheme that, uh, you got the white, you got the blue, you got the black, you got the pink, I love it. We got, like, I'm not the biggest fan of green and purple, I don't think it goes very well together, but that's just me. And finally, we got this one, another, the blue and pink one. It's a good outfit, because, again, it's a full outfit that looks like it could be a character's, you know, actual outfit. So you get to have a little, little fun with that one. Next, we have the weirdest named one for me, 1920s, which is like a 1920s Japanese style dress, which again, it's, it's, it's nice for sure, you know, but it's, there's a few too many kimono and kimono-like ones, I feel personally, but this next one will make up for it entirely, quite possibly one of the most, I'm surprised it got brought over here with this, Literally just bubbles. And if you put on the- oh... Or cream. Or soap. Tar? Like car wash fluid. So if you put on the right underwear, it's- you can make it kind of invisible. But, um, no, it's- it's liter literally just bubbles, so. So hey man, if that's something you want, there you go. Um, then we have the Dengeki. Where is that listed? The Dengeki. That's just what it's called. It's not at the bottom. Well, I guess it is. Dengeki Bikini. Which is this. I don't know why these are at the bottom. Um, also spoiling some stuff. But we have the Dengeki Bikini, which is, I, it looks just like a Chinese dress version of the bikini. I don't know why it's called Dengeki. Isn't that a magazine in Japan, or is that just like a, a normal word? I'm not exactly sure. But then, surprisingly missing from when you buy her, you get Ayame's apron, which is is nice. It's you know it's the stereotypical apron, but you can also then make um Ayami wear it and make her look like she's actually in the store as you're playing, except she's not. Spoilers: she's not actually in the store while you're playing, so that's a thing. And that is it. I guess we can look at the clothing that you get for the girls as well. So you get Naraku's outfit up or down, with her hood, that is. So you can actually choose, which is cool. Color two, three, and it'll be the same for the other one. Four, five, that is the edgiest outfit I've ever seen. Look at those belts. I love it. Um, you got True Kagura's dress, which is for Kagura. Who we'll see later when I play as her. But, and then we got her skirt as well, which is just the true Kagura, but like with, with a shorter skirt, because it looks a lot better with the shorter skirt, in my opinion. Um, I think you also get, yeah, so you get the punk outfit, which is this, which is actually super good. Like, look at all those words on there. Destruction, eliminate, Yoma, abyss. Devotion, protect Kagura. It's it kind of reflects her true feelings and stuff, you know. Like that, that's what it's going for. 
got multiple ones of that. That's a good one. Black and green. It's the woolly color. You got Kagura's dress, which is a giant, giant old school outfit. Look at that girth. I don't know if I'd wear that as a guy. But then you also have just it as in a skirt, because, I mean, you, you can't have it be too cray-cray. But I guess we can go take... Oh, wait, no, I think we also then get hair, right? Yeah, so I didn't show it off last time, but you do get Ayami's hair when you buy Ayami, and any character can wear it, so that's one thing. Naruko's hair is here, though, so you can give every girl this awesome short hairdo, which I'm 100% down for, man. And Kagura's crazy long hair as well, which is good, because if I want to make Crimson Hamura, as always Hamura, I can give her this, and it looks actually perfect. So that's kind of cool. But uh, let's go take a look at the actual girls quickly. Because they actually have quite... Like, you see, like, they, they have, you know, quite... Oh, and her bag is also a thing. Where's her bag even? W where is it? What am I looking at? Where is this bag that's... Oh, because it's only in inner transformed form, right. Okay, so that's what it is. So you do get a bag, which is cool. You know, you can use that if, if you need a bag stuff. Um, hoodie up or hoodie down, it's your choice. I kind of want to go hoodie down for now, because I like her hair. It's kind of good. It's short. I can dig it. Um, right, and then we switch over to Kagura. And she is, uh, well, that's her default face, which is... Mildly threatening, and then you turn over transformed, and yeah, no, a little more, a little more threatening, just a bit. Um, she's wearing the craziest, deadliest lingerie, um, but we're gonna actually switch over this to the skirt because it looks better. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, Kagura and Naraku come from Senran Kagura 2 Deep Crimson, which again came out after this. Oh, did it not save? Oh, because I didn't change this one. Which came out after this one in Japan. Um, and they put them back in as characters, which is good. Because they're awesome characters. And basically, Naraku had to, as a child, watch over a orb. Which then hatched into uh, Kagura. And if you're like, well, isn't the game called Senran Kagura? You're right. Because she's like this shinobi goddess. Or shinobi goddess, rather. Not shinobi. Who wants to eradicate all the Yoma. And then she goes back and dies after that. So it's really sad, and I do recommend playing the story of Senran Kagura 2 on 3DS because of the fact that it's actually a very serious story basically throughout, and it was quite fun. Not as good as this in my opinion, but still a fun side adventure. So that said, we don't have to customize or anything because, I mean, we, we've, we've, we, we, you know what, I actually know, I'm going to customize them. That's the most fun part, so ignore that, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so it's a good thing I came back actually to do this, because I realize there's so actually some accessories hidden in this that we missed out on. So first off, there is the... where is it? The Dengeki Peach Buns, which are peach buns that go in the hair and are quite cute. You know, she even said it's quite cute. Um, which, they're, they're buns of peach in the hair, and that was interesting, I was fine with that. Then I went to the next page, and I'm looking, and I'm like, oh yeah, these are some more stuff, whatever. And then I realized, wait, Naruka's big, and then the next option was Kagura. And I was very confused. Why is Kagura an accessory? And then I turned it on. It's literally the baby version of Kagura, which you can have multiple poses for as an accessory. <laughs> That's an accessory. Is there anything else I missed before I leave? But, uh, oh my god, I'm having fun with this now. Okay, <laughs> I'll be back, I'll be back in a second when we customize her. This is gonna be great. So, in a bit of a nice touch, as we can see here, the young Kagura actually does appear in the uh, loading screens. Not loading screens, the menus, which is nice. So let's get started on some missions with these now. I didn't go crazy with these characters. I stayed a little more... A little more normal with them, as we'll see. Um, let's do... I don't know which mission was a good one. Um, defeat the Shinobi Grounds. I like the ones where we can actually fight people. So let's do this one. Those who hesitate with Naruko. Naruka. Na Naraku. Oh my god, I butchered that. So, um, their fighting styles are cool. Um, Naruku in general, or in specifically, I can't speak right now. I've been doing videos all day, and this should be normal now, but I guess not. 
So we'll see here. <laughs> I guess the young Kagura is, or maybe not. So I just went with the basic stuff, but she fights with a giant ball, which is actually super hype. Like anyone else feel like it's actually super awesome? Like, like it feels like no other, okay, I'm getting destroyed by these dudes. You know, it's like, it's one of the, oh my God. Her, that's her heavy attack. She becomes a wrecking ball. Like, look. That's amazing. That's so good. Okay, let's try and get these dudes up in the air, though, because I hate air fighters in, like... Okay, I'm actually getting hurt quite a bit here. Let's transform. We'll get to see this. Okay, so... I couldn't not use the Kagura's now that I know that they're, they're a thing, which we'll see right here. With our stand. Oh, you used to look so weird. You can't even see. I have three Kagras as my partners. Okay, can we not? Level one, sure. So I have a Kagura on my back, acting all Gurren Lagan. I have one running beside me, and then I have one that's, um, just like sliding their butt on the ground. Um, but no, as you can see, cool fighting style. I really like it. But, um, I, I, you know, as soon as I saw the Kagura's, I'm like, I can't not use that. Okay, now that we're transformed, we're doing a lot better. Because we can actually hit these dudes in the air. And of course, this is with, with them not being, um, leveled up and stuff. So they are missing some stuff. Don't worry. So yeah, it's what a stupid costume. I love it. So yes, let's skip these. We'll throw up a hidden bombshell just so that we could be, of course, invisible, which is doing not what we want. Okay, this is this is the mistake. Look at our shadow, at least. Okay, there we go. No, but like, like it's interesting because you actually didn't get to. Uh, you didn't, they were the villains of, um, well, villains, quote unquote, of Senran Kagura 2. You didn't actually get the chance to play as them. The only thing you got to do with them, which is awesome that we leveled up because we're healed. The only thing that you got was you could dress them up in the dressing room to take pictures, but you couldn't actually do any, um... Wow, these guys are way tougher than they should be. Um, you couldn't actually do anything with them, which is a bit of a shame, but it's, yeah, it's, you know, it's... But they actually also had the young, um, young Kagura as someone you could, like, put in the pictures and stuff. So it's, it's, it's nice that they put it in, in this sort of way, you know, it works, it's one way to get her in without actually making her playable. Cause, man, if she was playable, the young Kagura, there would be way more people complaining. <laughs> that would be, that would make that game, the game, totally be unable to be sold, period, ever, in, in almost any country. Unless it was on the Vita. Just kidding, cause, the Vita's, <laughs> oh Vita. You're such a hilarious system. This is actually a terrible mission to pick because we're so underleveled. So let's get them to fight that. Do some air combos. Do we get relaunches with her? Yeah, okay, that's a good air combo. Oh my god, that's actually super hype. I gotta see if there's any other um, unique KOs in this place. Apparently they add them with every update. And people were saying that it's it's a real pain to have to try and get them. So let's take a look here. Oh, they're still going after that. Let's see, is there any uh, extra places? And they're transforming, because why not? Yep, there's someone you're fighting over there for sure. Oh, hello! That was something. Yeah, but no, this is the, the great costume idea I had. I don't see any other unique KO opportunities other than the one in the middle. Oh, that's, that's cool, you got a charge thing. Yo, wait. Wait. Can you just keep going up in the air with that? Because if so, oh my god. I was frozen today. Come on! I'm trying to just show these off in a quick and timely manner, and of course I'm gonna miss with this. That's good. That's fine. This is good. This is fine. Come on, let's let's get this over with so I can show off the other one, because the other one's well, I was gonna say even more obscure or absurd, but that's not the case. Oh also I guess I should point out I put a little platform for the at least the back the back Kagura there. 
Oh, that's hilarious. That's some good physical comedy, I do say. Some real... Oh, I, I don't have a, that combo, I guess, yet. Oh, I'm the dizzy one. What is even happening in this battle, and why is it so terrible? Let's finish this. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay, at least you can break out of those with a uh, with a super, which is saves a lot of effort. Come on, let's at least see her win pose then with this. I can't even move after that. It'd be nice if that could relaunch, but sadly it's not the case. Does that not just naturally... So she kicks normally, and then the ball comes out for other attacks, I guess? That's weird. Oh my god, stop. Why can't I even move? Wow, that breaks it? Jeez, I am so terrible at this game right now. What is happening? I'm gonna lose. I lost. Amazing. I got the worst KO. Good. No, that's fine. That's good. Look at the girls stuck in the cage. Lovely. And the one falling out. Well, that went terribly. I apologize. Let's try a different mission for when we flip over. It is because probably we're level 1 and uh, because I, I kept trying to do some attacks that straight up did not exist. So it's like, she's she, probably a lot better once you get the other stuff for her. So we're not going to save. I feel that much shame from that. Uh, we'll pick a different level though. Probably just the, the oh, I di no, I didn't say redo it. Go, go away. No, come on. So let's pick then instead the older Kagura from after she absorbed all the Yoma or something. I don't even remember. I honestly don't remember super much about the plot of that game. Um, let's just go and do the, the one where you just battle the grunts, which is a fun mission. I'm gonna do it as Kagura here. So Kagura, again, the final boss of Senrin Kagura, Two Deep Crimson, I've heard is about as good as you would expect in terms of a character who is the final boss of the game that comes after. You know, we'll see here. Fusion aerial raves, all that good stuff. So actually gave her a bit of a, as you'll see here. Oh yeah, she eats the, the things and becomes the tall one. I gave her just like a cool sort of, also she floats. That's actually super, oh my God. Okay. Uh, she has a teleport. Does she have unlimited jumps? Are you, wait, what? Oh no, it's just, I just got lucky, I guess. Okay, so she's kind of cool already. Get it, we're in a nice stage. Okay, okay, I see what's going on. We, we, got, we, we, we got the final boss, you know. She's gonna be really good. She's gonna be really good. She's gonna be a, a little too good, maybe. And of course, this is with no moves unlocked. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't even know what's going on, man. No, but I just, oh, because I'm frozen. I gave her just like a cool outfit to begin with though, as you can see. I like the red balls. Red balls are always fun. I like that air combo. Look look at it. Oh my god, so good. Yeah, I know. I, I would get her, for sure, because she's super crazy fun. Okay, let's transform. I hope you're ready. Oh, dude, she has a unique transformation. Perfect. Yep, that's... That's the final form. It's going. Oh my god, that's one combo that just keeps going. Oh, I'm frozen and my effect is stuck in midair. Also, I guess I should point out that these characters do have a, a, a frantic mode. I'm not showing them off, but they do have one and that has another moveset. I'm surprised I haven't got a single... Here's a level one. That's good. That's some good stuff, man. I will say, it doesn't, it doesn't lead to crazy sort of... Um, the extended sort of air combos that I, I like to get. You know the ones where it's like they just keep going and with the relaunches and stuff. I'm a big fan of those. But, uh... Oh, man. I hate status conditions. They ruin everything. 
attacks here. Oh no, it does relaunch after a while. Oh my god. Let's see if we can get a level. I don't think we'll be able to shuffle level 2 super. She doesn't seem to build up meter that fast. Well, there we go. Thank you. So, are we going to just murder this one? Sure, let's do it. Oh, I thought that was part of the animation. That was actually, I was like, yo, does she have this much slowdown normally? But no, she doesn't. But that's what it was. That was cool. And of course, there are also ultimate arts, which we don't have unlocked. So then there she goes, off on her journey to d kill everyone. Well, the Yoma. Not the, not everyone. She's, I mean, she's not a bad character in the, in like, morality-wise. But she's not good either. So... But uh, yeah, she who cleanses all Yoma, true Kagura. That's what it is, not older Kagura. That's a good name. Anything with true in its name, it works for me. Um, right. So, thank you all for watching the week three pack, and uh, we have one more week, but we also have one other pack. What will it be? Tune in next time, and I hope you guys like your fighting games, because that's what we're gonna get. See you next time. Ciao.